Mm, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I want to talk about fear on the path. Just checking out my earrings because they're like out of alignment. <laughs> Uh, so fear on the path Um, when people message me this is something that I often hear I'm really afraid of this I'm really afraid of that is this a thing I I don't want to do that because I'm afraid of this I'm I'm afraid I'm afraid I'm afraid and my understanding is that traditionally if you are on the tantric yoga path that one of the very first things that would happen with your teacher or your guru is that you would learn how to work skillfully with fear. Okay, So fear within the system is a really useful biological imperative. If a tiger comes into the room, it's going to automatically trigger fear in me, which will generate adrenaline, etc., etc., and I'll literally be able to react and move really quickly and ideally get out of probably go under the bed where the tiger couldn't get me but take action to avoid being eaten as such right so as a physiological response in the body fear is really useful to have now as a psychological response it's not so useful and if human as humans have become more and more in the head rather than being in direct felt experience of what is actually happening where my sense is that we're experiencing more and more psychological fear. And so on the path, and this I've heard this from other teachers, um, from teachers that I know, they were given practices whereby they had to confront fear. And they had to, you know, so for example, they'd be put in a situation that would generate a lot of physiological fear. Even though they were not in actual danger, the body would respond as if, they were in danger, which would give them the opportunity to skillfully work with the fear, right? And what this means is when there's orientation to awareness, the fear that we experience is just arising and subsiding within the body, and it is just sensation. Now, for most people, when the fear gets triggered, there's total identification, and it feels really really scary right it feels awful we hate it we don't like it and we want to do anything we can to not feel the fear because we're often afraid of feeling fear okay and so on the path when fear arises right you know most people aren't working with a teacher that is giving them practices that will trigger fear so that they can deal with fear right so when people email me or message me and they're like, oh my God, I'm so afraid of this, I'm so afraid of that, I'm, so, I'm like, okay, so what might be really useful is to recognize that you've got psychological fear arising that is controlling you. And so if this situation is triggering fear, then use it. Use the fact that there is fear in your system and do practice, sit down, and orientate to awareness and get really curious what does that fear feel like where in the body is it and this is not an intellectual exercise this is a direct felt experience move toward the fear or notice right for some people when there's intense sensation of fear in the body they'll go into disassociation can you notice that oh shit I'm disassociated can you be aware of that can you learn how to pull, literally pull, and come back into embodiment even when the fear is in the system? You see, can you work skillfully with the fear? And when you do this enough, when you lean in, allow yourself to fully feel the fear, sometimes what happens is that you're able to fully digest the fear, and then those same life conditions don't trigger the fear anymore right? Because often it was an old fear and unrelated to the actual things going on. So I'll give you a direct example of this. Um, when I, when I left my last long-term relationship, I moved out, we'd been living together, moved out, moved into a house, um, was, had flatmates downstairs that lived quite separately and I was upstairs with my child 
So pretty much living alone. Now, I was in an incredibly safe suburb in a very safe town in New Zealand, which overall is pretty safe, right? So on a um, practical level, I was in zero danger whatsoever. And what I noticed was I had immense fear in my system at being a woman alone in a house. And I was like, holy, I'm really fucking scared. And so I was aware of the fear. And so then I started to do work around it and I started to meditate with it and do practice and go right in and really feel that fear. And I went right into the root and fully digested it. It took me a few days to do this. I don't remember whether it was like three days or whether it was a week, but I worked with it and then it was gone, completely gone. And I don't experience that anymore. And when I self-reflected, I began to realize that I had unconsciously felt that fear at other points in my life. And when I was unconsciously feeling that fear, it caused behaviors. I would basically do anything to not be alone, living in a house by myself type thing, Um, which meant that I wasn't acting from truth. I wasn't acting from center. I was actually ruled by fear. And for many of us, we're unconsciously afraid of so many things. So if you're on the path and you find yourself experiencing fear, where you're not actually in physical danger, see this as an opportunity. See this as a golden opportunity to sit down and fully meet the fear. Because mastering fear is a key element of the spiritual path and the yogic traditions. And what that means is your body gets triggered into fear, you stay orientated to awareness. The fear is just arising and subsiding within that which you are. And then because you're not possessed by the fear, nor identified with the fear, you're able to, and I've had this experience myself, it's possible to just, with the breath and desire, and the will begin to calm the nervous system down the psychological system and to fully come out of fear, right? Now there there are stages to that. The first stage of mastering fear is to be aware that it's even there. The second stage might be to be able to stay in awareness even when there's a lot of fear in the system, right? The third stage might be willing, your own awareness now being willing to move toward the fear, go deeper into the fear, to fully feel the fear. And maybe the the fourth stage might be the full full digestion of that fear, right? So that's like a broad response. People are like, oh, I'm afraid of going into psychosis again. It's like, okay, great. Work with the fear. Work with the fear. Because the thing is, if you can master fear, it is highly unlikely we go into psychosis again for various reasons. I won't go into that right now. I mean, there's more to it. Um, you know, or someone's like, oh, I'm really afraid of my partner leaving. Great. Fully feel that. Go into that fear. And, and there's two ways you can do that. You can go into just the fear without the story of like the partner leaving, right? Just fully feel the fear. Or, <laughs> and I've done this as well, right? You can go, you can go fully into the thing you're really afraid of happening as if it's happening and feel however it makes you feel and fully meet it, fully meet it and digest as much of it as you can because what happens then, you see, because it's not that you're afraid of your partner leaving you, you're afraid of how it makes you feel and you might be afraid of the implications of it in terms of what it might do to your finances, your living situation, your loneliness, all of these things. But if you go into it fully and feel the feelings, what I've noticed in doing that kind of practice is there's an all of a sudden I'm not afraid of it happening because I've already met it. And because I'm not afraid of it happening, I can get really honest with myself and go, oh shit, this isn't in alignment. And actually it's probably better if I let go of the attachment because attachment is ultimately caused by fear, you see. So it's such a powerful practice to work with fear directly as a sensation in the body and also to work with whatever you're afraid of and to deliberately go into it, right? 
Uh, and this is the kind of work that I do with clients in session because if you haven't done, these are strong, strong, strong practices, right? So if you haven't done these kind of practices before, like meeting fear, it can be really beneficial to be in a space where you're being held by somebody else, right? So my nervous system is merging, attuning, like you can attune to mine and so that helps with being able to actually digest whatever's there. Um, and it's just just strong practice strong practice so this is an offering to all of you out there that are dealing with fear just uh, I guess you could call it a view teaching here's a way to perceive it here's a way to look at it here's a way that you can actually work with it skillfully in a practice um, if you have any questions about it drop a comment down below and I'm really responsive on the comments I like to engage with the community here um, yeah my name's Carolia and May you no longer be afraid of fear. May you no longer be afraid of fear. Blessings on the goddess.